Russian couple who came out with energy to spare in the short dance. Here are the Russian national silver medalists, Alexandra Stepanova and Ivan Bukin. And despite being a young team, they've actually been together for 11 years now, teamed up back in 2006. Fantastic position in this opening spin. Very unique. Nobody else does anything quite like that. Great entrance into the lift. Maybe not my favorite positions in the lift, but very difficult way to get in, smoothly executed. And very difficult position for a twizzle. Nobody else does that because it's so easy to lose the level. And they have in the past. It looked all right, all right this time. Yeah, tough in that sit-spin position to maintain the ice coverage, and that's a requirement in the Twizzle series. very important during these step sequence to maintain the character of the program and I just feel like they could be doing a better job convincing me if the sound was off right now that this is a tango performance I can see it in certain styling moments in lifts and in between a step sequence but it's important in that difficult footwork element as well so easy to get caught up in just focusing on the edges be as clean as possible but then you lose the character Here's their second step sequence. Well, ice dancing and tango have always gone hand in hand so beautifully. Stepanova and Bukin here with their effort and their tango in the free dance. Ben, what did you think? Great effort. Oh, my goodness. I mean, I love the intensity that they keep through the program. But the, I only kind of noticed them losing steam right there at the end. Uh, that says a lot for how hard they were trying and very difficult elements. I feel like they put a lot of difficulty in this program. 
you know, some of it works for them, some of it doesn't quite highlight their 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 strengths, but you know, I think the main thing is is losing the character in the step sequences. The step sequences weren't amazingly clean, like wow, that was a clear level four step sequence, so maybe it was worth losing the character a little bit. So I think really they have to try to find the way to keep the character throughout the whole thing. Tango in general as a theme to take on for a free dance is, is usually very tiring. It is so intricate at its best. It often requires skaters to remain closer together. There's no opportunity for long held flowy edges and space between. No, you have to be tight, you have to be sharp, and you have to be purposeful with nearly every movement. So it is definitely a challenge and probably one that they strategically took on this season, I think, to help them grow and to really take on a major challenge heading into Pyeongchang because this team has talent to spare. They are going to absolutely, in my opinion, be the leaders in Russian dance soon enough. And look at this beautiful extension on the exit. That's what I want to see all the time. That entrance, and then this is one that I don't like. <laughs> yeah, I, I agree. Just the, the bent legs, not really taking advantage of the opportunity of her long limbs there with the skirt over the head. It just wasn't as beautiful as some of the other moments in the program. Wow, 105.63. Even their coaches can't believe it. That is a season's best for Stepanova and Bukin. By far and away, their best performance of this free dance all season long. So those scores are definitely warranted. And they have set the new benchmark in this free dance competition. All smiles for the young Russian couple.